good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Dutch Senior Open Final 2014. It's a round robin final, 8 players left in the women's section, 8 players left in the men's section and one only can win. We play a round robin, that means you play 7 games, you have to play one game against every of your opponents. If you win your game, you win 30 extra bonus pins. Draw means 15 and 15 for both players. We got the matches. Diana Di Gialorenzo versus Yvonne Randall. Anna Brause is playing against Lilian Vintens. Farida Pascal Blom play against Gisela Insinger. Martina Becco is playing versus Moratti, Alessandra Moratti from Italy. In the men's section, Carlo Groyle from Germany play against Alan Jenskins. Ron Oldfield play against Andre Galen, his first match. Mo Singleton. Played versus Low Ellis. Georgios playing versus Preuss on lanes 15-16. So that are the matches in the first game. I hope we get quickly our score updates here from the organization. That's a big trouble so far right now. It seems to be a trouble between working with two computers or something like that. But no matter. We try to do as best as we can to give you the scores and let you know who is gonna win in 2014 the Dutch Senior Open, who will be the champ here in both classes. Still in game one, so a lot of games to go. Anything can happen, I think, from game 5. We can give you a pretty clear update what's happening here in the field. The interesting thing is that the women playing now on lanes 1 to 8, and there was no oil break, so only the men play there. And now the man is playing on 9 to 16, where the women has played before. That could make a big difference. In the scores. And how. This final will end maybe. So. This is what we know. What we also know is that we play on a 40 feet oil pattern. All play on the same pattern. It's 40 feet long, 21.2 total volume of oil, and it's a ratio 5 to 1. So the ratio 5 to 1 means it's not hard, not easy. Let's say it's in the middle. The lane surface here is system 300. Pins, Brunswick crowns. And here we see Carlo Kreulich from Germany. Ah, 
nice start for him. 80 pace, spreads. Playing with a totally defiant from Roto Grip. The left hander. Play versus Alan Jenskins. Oh, Jenskins is a little bit in trouble. He's at this moment on 88, while Roelich is on the 106 with the double strike. Well, I have to uh, move the camera in the break, in our short break, that we can show you more of the men. Because there, really anything can happen. So I put it a little bit on 9 and 10, so if it's necessary, we can change it a little bit more to the women. I'll come with the slow-mo future on it. And... Um, Now we can show you clearly all the finals here. So everybody will show before the camera. We can't change cameras anymore now. So be patient. Every player or your favorite players will show on cam in this round robin final. Lift from Germany. Still on a 280 scratch space. Oh, he was lucky with the strike. See in the replay what happened. Not so good in balance there. And oh, a very, very lazy 10. <laughs> Thank you. in a row now for Groilig. from England play very well this week nice shot oh 
another one. Here you see back the slow mo of Oldfield. Ron Oldfield, UK Hall of Famer. Easy bowling. And a great carry there. Kroilich is still on a 280 pace, 280 scratch with his 6 bonus, will it make 286? So let's check Kroilich, or he can make 286. In his 10th frame here. far outside. You see here the replay. Way too far. And that's risky on this pattern. When you play the ball too far outside or you are a left-hander or a right-hander, no matter, but if you shoot your ball into the first five ports, it's only skits. And no chance for a pocket, while Freulich makes a spare here. And including a strike, he can shoot 272. That means he's on top. After game one, no, he's not because Los Ellis wins versus Mo Singleton and Law shoots 280. So Ellis is on top after game one, that's for sure. And second is Kreulich from Germany. These are our best two, we can say for sure now. So, the ladies are almost done with the first game. And I check what the situation is there. And Farida Pascal Blom is doing very well. Very, very well. She makes a 2 now, and that means she has 2-10. I don't see the scores on the other pair, 5 and 6. But if I look to the pairs around her, she has the best score. So. Simon, do you know what the uh, scores were on 5 and 6? Did you see it? So that means Farida is on top in the ladies. So Farida Pascal is on first position after game 1. Good news for the Dutchies. Pascal is leading after game 1. Alice is leading after game one in the men's division. Okay, we'll come back in a few minutes with the second game here. I'm gonna take short time to drink something and be back in a minute.
Sue. Yeah. What can I say about the newest Syria? It's the newest member of the HB3 line. We've had a lot of success, and man, we've got a new part, and it does something totally different. And you look pretty excited about it. I'm just saying, you're grinning ear to ear, so we must have done something right here. Yeah, I'm really excited. I mean, that ball with the shiny cover definitely gives me a lot more options. I can play straight with it, and then once the lanes start to break down, I can move left and curve it as much as I want to. Really. Yeah, and you touched upon that. It's, it's really good to the uh, coming up with a shiny solid. That's something we haven't had in a long time. And, again, with a, a variety, with a new core, man, we've got a lot of things going. And, like I said, I'm guessing you're going to have probably two to four to, man, knowing you, maybe six of this ball in your bag. Yeah, I definitely have a few. It's Yeah, it's been a while since we've had a shiny solid. I think I think the whole world was like me, and they were in love with the Nomad solid. So, hopefully, they can see some more success with this one. Stu, man, I got to tell you, given the success you've had using the Disturbed, and a lot of times, I know just working with you a little bit on tour, you had a couple of them with some shine on them. Now we've got a brand new part. It's a solid cover stock, comes factory shined. Man, you got to be excited about this one. Yeah, the new weight block in the Hysteria with the higher RG and the higher diff should give me something that's a lot more off the back end than the Disturbed. So I'll probably start blocks using the Disturbed, and once that starts to get a little bit lazy down lane and I need to move left, Rather than using the shiny Disturbed and trying to trick it, I can just move straight into this new Hysteria and watch that baby peel off the back. Yeah, and I think you made a good point there instead of trying to trick it because, and I think that's one of the things we have to focus on with the lower RG core of like the Disturbed. Now we've got variety. We've made a higher RG core to help give you that length down the lane and like you said, get popping. Man, some of the shots you threw today, you were able to get in and really get it, get it come around the corner. Yeah, definitely. And it also gives you that uh, smoother motion as opposed to some of the other pieces that, you know, when, when you start to see them come off the spot a little bit too hard, this is a little bit more continuous. What can I say? The masses have spoken. And we had to deliver. HP3, we needed a part that got down the lane and give you a little bit more kick and change direction. And that's exactly what we did with this new Hysteria. If you don't have one of these in the bag, you're missing out. And remember, with Rotor Grip, we help you own it.
Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, we have a score update after game one, on top now in the women's division, Farida Pascal Blom 638 total, it's including all the bonus pins, followed by Lilian Vinton 610, Alessandra Mon Mora is on third position 603. The best three in the man is on first, Carlo Groyler Germany. 761 followed by Los Ellis 752 place 3 now is Andre Galen 6 sorry 736 that's after one game six games to go six matches we have the match now Insinger versus Beko Mora versus pa Pascal Blom Vinton Playing versus the Jalor Jalorenzo, and we have Buizens versus Randall. And by the man, Bruce versus Singleton, Kalen versus Groylich. And the other matches are finished because we are in the last frame now. And if you have a moment, I think in frame three of the second game, we know what is a new update. Pascal Blom, she has to shoot at least an 8 to win the match, this is important, oh no it's a 6 count or it's a 5, what is it, 6, no, that means she lose this match and that means a very important 30 pins for the victory for Mora, she wins 189 versus 186. Insinger wins versus Beko. So now we're going to game three. We get a short break from our sponsor and then we'll be back in a few minutes. Man, Stu, I got to tell you, this new Sinister, we got the new Cage Core, Hybrid Reactive Cover Stock. Dude, this ball just gets after it. And I know you're pretty excited. I watched, watched you throw some shots today. Whew. What, what do you think about that? Yeah, I threw the first one and then needed to take a large step to the left. Um, this ball is definitely going to give you something different in the HP4 line. I think it's the most versatile ball yet. The uh, the Hybrid Cover Stock is definitely gets down the lane a bit better than the Hypercell. And uh, wow sideways down the line 
Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things that, you know, having that core and that cover combination, and as you said, as you kept moving and moving, and there's a lot of times when we get these asymmetric cores that, man, you kind of reach that kind of tipping point, but dude, you just kept chasing after it, and it kept coming back around the corner. Yeah, I mean, we, we got pretty far left, and it was still making the move really nicely, so I think it'll give you a, definitely a more versatile piece that you can use on a few more different angles and conditions. When you think HP4, I want you to think one thing, dynamic. And that's exactly what we deliver with the new cage core. Dynamics like you've never seen. This ball is off the charts, and as you saw Stu today, man, from a variety of angles, variety of shapes, and tilts off his hand, this ball just gets after it. So I want you to go out, get you one of these, and remember, rotor grip means own it.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we got a score update after two games in the women division. Still good news for the Netherlands because Farida Pascal is still in the lead. 8.26, four pins more than Alessandra Mora, 8.22. And place three is Gisela Insinger from Germany, 8.15. So that's the top three there. The top three men, it's Carlo Groilich. Well, amazing because in the first game he shoots 2.55, now he shoots 2.46. And he is in a big lead of 1.043. Versus number two, Andre Galen, he has 9.52, so it's a 90 pin gap now between number one and two. And Lol Ellis is on third position with 9.50, only two pins behind Galen, and two pins behind Ellis is Decimio. And eight pins behind Decimio, it's all fueled, so all can happen in this top three. Try to put it in the screen after two games, the updates. Well, the temperature is rising in this bowling center also. I think two hours ago it was okay, but now it's getting hotter and hotter here. Could be a big change on the lanes also. got a match now. Lol Ellis versus Greilich. Number one versus number three. Bruce is playing versus Oldfield. Decimio playing versus Jenskins. And Gele plays 
versus Mo Singleton. By the women, Mora is playing versus Bowser. Bowser picks the lead in this match. DG Lorenzo plays versus Insinger, Becco versus Randall, and Pascal Blom is playing versus Vintens. So Belgium versus Holland. There's a 40 pin lead for Pascal Blom in that match. And Bowser is in the lead in the match versus Mora. Well, Pascal Blom will win. That means she picks also 30 pins bonus. I think she will stay on first position. So good news for the Dutch bowling fans. So now we prepare on some other lanes. the Brunswick man first strike in the tent there's an eight let's check back what happened there you see, the line looks good but the ball skits too much there maybe Possibility that Groylich plays so much inside out here on the lanes that he get in trouble in his part of the lane, but he win the match with 230 including handicap. Now we take a look to Giorgio Decimio, the guy who would throw the highest game on Wednesday in the Wednesday squad, 297. Oh, he leaves the 8 pin. It's lucky that the 10 pin going down.
try to find out what Grolich is doing. Oh, the screens are gone, so we can't tell you that. But Royce wins the match versus Oldfield. And Jenskins wins versus Desimio. That's what we know for sure. So they get the 30 pins bonus in their match for the winning. But uh, I think we get quickly a score update after three games. Yeah, Bowser wins from Mora. That's good news for Pascal Blom because she was second, only four pins behind Farida. And now there is a gap again for Pascal Blom because Mora shoots only 175. Well, Pascal were in the 200s, including the 30 pins bonus. That means I think she has a gap of 50 pins again. Should give her a little bit air for the next match. Of course, the next match we get Randall versus Pascal Blom. Vintens will play versus Beckel. Mora uh, play versus the. Jelly Renzo and Bowser and Insinger is the other match. In the man we will get the match Oldfield versus Alice, Price, Groilich, Jenskins, Singleton, and Desimino versus Galen. And our camps are behind Price, Groilich and Oldfield Alice. So Gonna focus a little bit on that match also. Wow, you see a close picture here of almost the whole bowling center. 16 lanes in this bowling center. And there we go with third game. All field starts with a strike. Alice got an eight. Royle starts with a strike and Price has a six count. Six pair for Price. And eight pair for Alice. Wow. <laughs> Oldfin didn't see that. It was a late touchdown of the 6-10. He got the 6-7-10 split, but then one of the pins touches the 6-10. And he got a 9 now. He picked the spare, of course. That's a present. So now he got strike spare. And Alice makes the spare. He got 
Eight spare, eight spare. Kreulich. Double strike versus Preuss. Spare open frame. Well, Grolich is doing really well here, this final. He has a total, including the bonus of 900 now. Oldfield is on 769 in this final. That's exclusive, the 50% pinfall was carried forward from the other final step. 798 for Alice. Seven seventy four Desimino. Seven sixty nine Oldfield. Shot. And 9 and 10 for Alice. have the score updates after three games three games played in this round robin and the women's number one Farida Pascal Blom from the Netherlands 1056 followed by Gisela Insinger from Germany 999 followed by Alessandra Mora from Italy 997 that's our top three top three men so far Carlo Grolich Germany 1274 Lowell Ellis, England, 1219. Andre Gehlen from Belgium, 1212 pins. That's our top three in the men's division. It's a 55 pin lead for the German. While Pascal Blom got 57 pins lead now. And Gruylich is on front five. Oldfield is on strike spare four bagger, so a 280 pace scratch. Oldfield is on fourth position so far, 11.62. If he strikes out, it's a big comeback. Then he will be for sure in the top three again.
And there's another strike. Cold field. Seventy three years old. Unbelievable what he did this week here in this big tournament. Play very well. Kreulich now on front six. Price is on spare open, spare double strike. And three in a row for him. That means both has a double now. Kreulich is a total score 156. Price 124. Including their bonus. And a strike for Alice. While Oldfield shoot a nine. So three in a row now for Alice. Oldfield is on spare there. He has the lead. 51 points, but Alice got a double. So there's probably a comeback for Alice. Let's focus on him again, or he can make four in a row now. Playing with the hypercell. That carries good. All field. Well, both should a strike. And here's the replay. First is Alice on lane 10. Big shot. Both plays nice shots, but Alice still continue with in a row it's not done it is not done This must be a strike. There is a strike. Perfect strike again. Now it's interesting. Because Oldfield has a split. What do we pick? He picks two. That means his total score is 250. No. It's not enough. It's just enough because if Alice throws a strike, he will finish on 249. So a one pin difference for Oldfield. He needs the two. One pin. He wins one pin versus Alice. Even if this is a strike. Seems a very good ball. Alice played very well in this match. But lost one pin. 250 versus 249. Groilig is on 279 pace at this moment. Scratch. Based on scratch. Yeah, important strike for him. That means he will win if he spare now 
Or if Price doesn't throw a strike, then normally also this match is over and Royalik will pick the 30 pins bonus. Well, the organization gave us a small score correction in the ladies section because Pascal Blom was on top, 1056, that's correct, but second is Beckel with 1026 and Insinger is third, 999. That's the right scores. That we're waiting for these scores after four games, of course. But first, Groelig. A strike. Then it's over. There is a strike. That means it's over. He will win. So Kroilich wins the 30 pins bonus again versus Preuss. No matter what happened, Preuss can't beat him anymore. So another 30 pins for Kroilich. He wins all the four matches and also a big game here because if he strikes out, he shoots 279 on scratch base, including a six bonus will be 2.85 and Alice lost the number 2 so that means the gap is bigger between Groilich and the number 2 that is for sure oh a strike again only one shot and one strike to go here we see a big game this is the biggest game of the day, that's for sure. Not the biggest game of the tournament. Decimino, he shoots 297. And uh, the biggest game here today, you will see now, so far, because if he strikes, it's 279. There we go. That seems okay. And it's a strike again, and that means the biggest game of this day, 279 game for Carlo Krolig from Germany and we also know that he will stay on the first place after four games and he will come closer and closer to the victory of the Dutch Senior Open 2014 but it's three games to go and anything can happen but he's playing well in this final 255, 246, 225 and 279 So that are big games. Take a look around to the ladies. Beckel wins. She wins. Oh, a small victory because Vintens finished 185. Beckel is now 186 with one pin. So that means two pin winning. And really, it's nothing. But the victory is important because you get that 30 pins bonus. And at this moment, the Gilaronso is in a small lead versus Mora. But Mora got three in a row now. It's a 168. It's interesting there. It's not done, that match. You can see it on the right, left side of your screen on lanes 3-4. If Gilaronso shoot a strike now, that is a strike, and I think that she will win. Yeah, that means Mora lose now this match. Important because she was near the top three, only two pins behind number three Insinger. So Gila Ronzo wins, and other matches we have to wait but we will get the score blades very quickly they are so quick with the score blades now so that's good good news for us of course you want to know who win this tournament this big tournament from the seniors in holland i also one of the favorites of all these bowlers i talked with some bowlers yesterday and uh, really they say it's a uh, every year they will come back in holland so
Okay, the men's are start right now with the other game. We get a short break and talk in a few minutes, hopefully with the new score updates. So I have to ask you, you know, you got to throw the new outcry, which is an HP2 line. What do you think of it? Well, the factory finish 4000 definitely makes it a smoother transition down the lane than the uproar, so it certainly gives you a lot more options. Yeah, I mean, uh, that was the idea of building a, a new piece that is going to fit between the rumble and uproar. Uh, we've had really good success with those, the HP2 line, performance for the money. I mean, it's tough to beat, and you know, obviously you guys on tour have really made those balls look really good. So that you have to think that this ball is going to be in play, maybe, possibly? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think it gives you a, a, an option towards the end of the blocks when the lanes start to get a bit beaten up. Given the success of the rumble and the uproar before it, you got to be excited about this new outcry. It blends the best of both worlds. It's a hybrid cover, so it takes part of the pearl and part of the solid, mixes them together, and we cover that with 4,000 grit pad. And as you can see, it's not as early as a rumble, but it's not as long as the uproar. It gives you that good transition and for Stu, as you see here from the various angles, it allows him to play a little bit more direct and just kind of control the back end. So again, the marriage of both, both worlds. So there you have it, the new outcry, HP2, what can I say, performance and value, and this line of the bowling balls between the uproar, rumble, wrecker, and now the new outcry, we've got your bases covered. And remember, Rotor Grip helps you own it.
There's a score update, you can see it in the screen now. Man, Groydy on top 16-19. Followed by Andre Galen, 14-51 and place 3, 14-42, Ron Oldfield. And in the women, there it's very interesting because three players are really close in total pinfall. It's Insinger, 12-53, 10 pins behind her. Beckel with 12.43 and 11 pins behind number one, it's Farida Pascal Blom. 12.42, that's interesting. And Groylig is again on a 2.79 pace. Well, he's doing very well. Very, very well. Again, a strike in the tent I see from here. He's playing on 15, 16 versus Mo Singleton. And if he strikes out, I think definitely he will win. With two games to go. Now he has... 160 pins lead at this moment. And if he strikes out, I have to check to the number two, Andre Gehl, and what is he doing now? Play versus Los Ellis, and Andre is now on 179. Oh, it's a split for Groylich, so it is no 279, but a big game again. Including bonus. His score is... He shoots the big four. It's 269. Yeah, 269, including bonus. Yeah. We can say for 50, no, let's say 60% sure that... The victory in the man is for Groylich. It is two games. Anything can happen, of course, but Groylich in this shape, with these games and these scores, it's so amazing, so high. Now it's Ellis who throw a double. There is Galen also a double. 199, 189. 
so <laughs> I can lost Alice just the match the same as the match before versus Oldfield in the last frames. It must happen. Oh, no strike. And that means that Shalen wins versus Alice. Then that means I think that Shalen will be staying on the second position. It depends what Altfield does in his match. I can see because it's removed from the screens. But Jenskins versus Preuss. Also not done. Mora versus Fintens. Mora wins. And Pascal Farida versus Bousens. Farida is gonna win this match. That's important for her. Because Beko. Yeah, Beckel also wins, but Beckel wins with 194 only, and Farida has 209 now with a strike, and she has to start the 10th frame. She has to start the 10th frame. So first, let's see. On lanes 3 and 4, Bousens first. No strike, but Farida important because total pinfall now. Seems a good shot. Oh, little bit too high. Eight is now on 225. That means that we know for sure that Farida is now on place two. I don't know what... Insinger did in her match. But Farida is back on second position and maybe on first position. For sure on second place. A spare. 229 now. Total info including bonus. And a strike for Farida, she finished 2.39. Every strike count now, at this moment.
Man, Stu, I got to tell you, this new Sinister, we got the new Cage Core, hybrid reactive cover stock. Dude, this ball just gets after it. And I know you're pretty excited. I watched watch you throw some shots today. Whew. What do you think about that? Yeah, I threw the first one and then needed to take a large step to the left. Um, this ball is definitely going to give you something different in the HP4 line. I think it's the most versatile ball yet. The, uh, the hybrid cover stock is definitely gets down the lane a bit better than the Hypercell. And uh, wow, sideways down the lane. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things that, you know, having that core and that cover combination, and as you said, as you kept moving and moving, and there's a lot of times when we get these asymmetric cores that, man, you kind of reach that kind of tipping point, but dude, you just kept chasing after it, and it kept coming back around the corner. Yeah, I mean, we, we got pretty far left, and it was still making the move really nicely, so I think it'll give you definitely a more versatile piece that you can use on a few more different angles and conditions. When you think HP4, I want you to think one thing, dynamic. And that's exactly what we deliver with the new cage core. Dynamics like you've never seen. This ball is off the charts, and as you saw Stu today, man, from a variety of angles, variety of shapes and tilts off his hand, this ball just gets after it. So I want you to go out, get you one of these, and remember, rotor grip means own it. Okay, and we have two big matches in the women's. Mac Beckel, Martina Beckel from Germany. She is playing versus Parida, Parida Koskoblom from Netherlands. Well, I get the score update here. Because Pascal Blom is on first position again with 15.01 followed by the two German girls Insinger is second 14.77 Beckel on third 14.67 so it's now number one versus number three and I think oh Farida misses her spare there but we can tell for sure that if Farida win this match I think she will fin finish in the first two. In the men's, we have Carlo Groilich with amazing scores here. He shoots 255, 246, 225, 279 and 263. 
won, he win every match, and he's now on 1918 pins. And he has a 208 pin lead versus number two from Belgium, Andre Kehler. And 218 pins lead versus Ron Oldfield from England. He's on third position with 1690 pins, and also here. It is number one versus number three, Groilich versus Oldfield, but for Groilich, nothing can go wrong anymore with his big lead here. Even if he loses this match, he will win for 99% sure the Dutch Senior Bowling Tour 2014 in the men's field. So we have to focus, all our focus, on these two matches. Because we can show you the winner. I think for the last time. Sorry. Here he is, Carlo Groilich from Germany, the left-hander. strike again he still continues striking it's really amazing what this guy is doing here today in the round robin finals playing with the totally defiant rotor grip Oldfield Gets nine here. Well, it's more interesting in the man field who will be second and third. Because Galen is now on open frame and five strikes, while Oldfield is struggling there with that game and if Galen win this match, and that's what it looks like, it seems like he win this match, yeah, he's on 47 pin lead with a double strike while his opponent Jenskins has an open frame, so in this case the position will be as follow, Groyden first, Galen second, and the third position, it is Oldfield or Ellis. Oldfield. That's a nice shot. Very nice shot. From the 73 year old man from England. There we go. Nice and smooth. Nice shot again from the guy from England. Here's Groily. Also a strike for him. The way Oldfield is playing is very simple. It's called easy bowling. Straight, hand behind the ball. It's interesting because this match is now 201 for Oldfield with a double in 9 and 10, and 220 for 
Kroilik, so if all field strikes now, and he does, that means that Kroilik loses his first match. He loses the first match of this final. But with another 222, so now his scores are, and listen good, it's only everything, it, this is his lowest. 222 was his lowest game. Oldfield last shot in the tent, he win. Pick 30 minutes bonus. There it is, that's important because Oldfield shoot 231, including bonus, it's 261. That's 261 for him. And Galen is now a 179. So it depends what is he gonna do there in the last frames. His first shot is a strike in the ninth frame. But the tenth frame more important because there's only 20 pins between number two Galen and Oldfield number three. Groelich will win. We know for sure. That's done, but who will be second and who will be on third position? Now let's focus to the ladies. No strike for Galen on the other side. And here on the ladies match. Pascal Blom is on 141 with a spare in frame 8. Beckel is on 149 with a double. And there is a 7 for Beckel in frame 9. And if Pascal should have strikes now, he's back in this important match. No, and she also shoots 7. Galen will finish on 218. Two nineteen is on two nineteen now. I think it's only Yeah, that means that I have to calculate. 226 is his finish. 236. Yeah, it's 232, 226. It's 10 pins, so it's now only 10 pins between Galen and Oldfield. I think Galen will stay second. But just a few pins more than Oldfield. And now, take a look to. Beckel versus Farida, Pascal Blom, and Farida is on 157 now. Yeah, and she loses because she has an open frame while Beckel has a spare. So Beckel wins. Then it is important for Farida to produce a very nice 10th frame here. And there is a strike, and that could be important for the total pinfall. That could be very important for total pinfall score cause there was a gap of 40 pins between Beckel and Pascal Blom. This is interesting. A small gap between these two letters and you see Beckel makes an open frame there and now if Pascal Blom makes a double Come on, makes a double. That's a double. That's a very important double, even if she loses this match, because the total pinfall. That's what's count now. Not the 30 pins bonus anymore, in this case.
I think both has almost the same score and that Pascal Blom will stay one place higher than Beckel. So now we want to know what Insinger did and Randall because they were also close to Pascal Blom. I didn't watch that match of course because we have to watch a lot a lot of matches here it's 60 matches and Simon is busy with mixing a video that's a lot of work for him normally I will do but now we because we have to move the cam Very important now. We have to wait for the total scores. I think the lead is for Farida Pascal. Yes, she is first. And Randall is second. Insinger is now on third. I think that is what we can see from here. Oh no, that's exclusive. No, that's exclusive there. Pinfall is carried forward, so now we have to wait. We have to be patient for the scores from the organization. I will see, because I think Four of five women has to chance now in the last game to win the title. We have to wait. The man we know, Kreulich will win. But who is gonna win the title in the women division? Roelich will win 1500 euros, first prize in the men's division. Second will be win 900 euros, 600 euros for place three. The women, first position will win 900 euros, second 600 and third 400 euros. It's a nice prize money. The Dutch Open first time organized here in Nieuwegein. Eight games qualifying, 90 euro entry, including a free buffet for participants on Saturday night. And I can tell you, it was a fantastic buffet here. Really fantastic. Very well organized from John Raboli. That's all included. And if you want, you can play a turbo in your entry for 15 euro. You have to tell that and pay it before your eight games entry. The turbo, best four, also qualify for final step one. We know that. But this tournament, I can tell you, 100% it's well done by this organization this week. And don't forget tomorrow morning we start with the Masters. The European Senior Masters. 8.30 in the morning if you have time, if you have holiday, be there because that will be great. The best European bowlers here in the seniors. You will see live in action all the final steps on Dutch Bowling TV on our channel. And we're very happy if you tune in also tomorrow to see who is gonna win the title Masters 2014. And can say I was the best bowler in the seniors in Europe.
still waiting for the important score updates. Especially for the women division. That's the thing we want to know. Because it will be a really close finish. We know it's Insingen versus Fintens. Mora versus Randall. Beckel versus Bauze. And Pascal Blom versus Di Gilarono. There's Bettina with the score updates. And we know Beko is on first, 1690. She has three pins only more than Farida Pascoblon, 1687. And 20 pins more than Insinger from Germany, 1670. And 23 pins more than Mora, Italy. Then we get 1635 Randall. I think it's one of those four win the title. Beko, Farida, Pascal, Blom, Insinger or Mora. Okay, I take a look for you here. Mora is on front three. Randall is on spare, spare, double strike in that match. They play against each other. Insinger is on spare, open, spare, strike. Vintus, she plays versus Vintus. Vintus is on strike, double, spare, strike. And... Pascal Blom. Three spares. Her opponent is shooting double strike open frame and a six count. And Beko, the leader, is on spare double strike versus open strike open spare. It seems that Beko has the advantage so far now. But Mora is now for Bagger. Bell. Farida must go striking and she throw the first one now. That is very, very, very important now. Anything can happen. Scores in the man division then. We know the winner is Groilig, that's for sure. 2140, a very, very big gap on number two. But second, Andre Gehlen, 1966, and he has 15 pins only more than Oldfield. Oldfield is on third position. Alice is fourth with 1917. Alice, uh, sorry, Oldfield has 1951. That's the difference. Alice is plays playing versus Jenskins. Moilik versus Decimio. Galen versus Preuss. Galen is in the lead so far. Alice has a small lead now. Allfield he playing on 15-16. I think his opponent Mo Singleton take the lead there. So when it's continuing this way, then Kalen could finish second. But Alice is fighting for his last chance now. There we see Alice. 
Oh, hier liefst ze eet. Kele strikes again. Mora. Four banger open frame. And a strike. Well. Randall with the spares. He has a small lead in this match. Randall has 22 points bonus. Mora only 13. difference between Randall and Mora. Beckel has a 9 pin lead versus Buysens. And Farida has a 21 pin lead at this moment. So, we make the choice now that we're going to focus on the ladies. Not a strike on lane one and two for Farida. And if she continues striking, she probably could win. Because Beckel has a 14 pin lead now. And Mora is 11 pins behind. Randall. It seems that Andre Kalen will finish second from Oldfield on third position. Or Alice. It's place three is going between Alice and Oldfield. In the women is more interesting. Insinger. If she spare now, she will win. That is a spare. It is a spare. So Insinger wins.
Inchinger wins. She wins with 208. That makes 238, including bonus. Vintens. She wins versus Vintens. And Mora will also win her match versus Randall. Perfect double in 9 and 10 now. So the first strike in the 10th frame. And Farida will win. Farida is gonna win versus Gila Ronzo. That we know for sure. She's now on 219, but now it is very, very important to make the spare for Ida because Mora is coming closer and closer. And Beckel. Beckel is still on 181, only on 181 because that can make the difference. The total pinfall. So this spare is important. And she missed. Oh no, that's. Oh, this is important because now it depends. So 219 plus 30 is 249. In this case it means that Pascal Blom is for sure in top 3, but which position? Which position? Oh, that was an important spare because if you make that spare you're so close to the victory because Mora is on 231 now. And that means he's going to 260, I think. It's 20 pins, I have to see. 232. I think it's not enough. I think it's not enough because Mora missed here also. That means 231. It is 261. And there was a 20 pins gap between. That means Farida is for sure second. Pascal Blom is second now. So now, Martina Beckel, you can see on the right, left side of your camera, it's important. It's a spare. That's a spare. She's now on 198. Can I see it right? I think Farida Pascal Blom is going to win the tournament. It's for sure. Yeah, it's for sure. So, Dutchies. Farida is win the Dutch Senior Bowling 2014 in the women division. <laughs> wow, that was a finish here. I thought it was over because he missed that spare. But also, Mora shoots a nine there. And missed, she has to throw a double. So uh, as follow, I think we have to see what's the score now. We know Pascal Blom finished first. So good news for the Dutch bowling fans. We have a Dutch winner. And we will uh, have the presentation in uh, about five, six minutes. So, so we want to know what's number one, two, three. Simon has calculated for us. The total scores, including that total scores, and then we know who is one, two, three. Pascal Blom wins. We know it for sure. Farida wins the Dutch Senior Open 2014 in Holland. Great news for us, Dutch bowling fans. Okay, I want to thank you for watching and you have to wait, we come back in the prize fund.